Even small gators can pack a powerful punch. Much safer to take it from behind. The python's muscular coils neutralize the gator's formidable bite before beginning the big squeeze. Struggle as it might, the juvenile gator is not in the same weight class and is quickly choked out. The python must now attempt to consume her sizable quarry. And for this, she's supremely adapted. Recent research reveals that when feeding, pythons can speed up their metabolism by increasing blood flow to vital organs like the heart, liver and kidneys to boost digestion by up to 40 times its regular rate. Remarkably, the snake will fully digest the alligator within seven to 10 days. Scales, bones, teeth, and all. While this means she'll quickly return to fighting form, it does come at a cost, using over a third of the energy gained from the meal. But a feed of this size could sustain her for months. Reports of giant snakes roaming Florida's Everglades National Park first began in the 1980s. Rumors of exotic pets released into the wild quickly became an urban legend. But that turned out to be the calm before the storm. August 1992, Hurricane Andrew, one of the most destructive storms in US history, tore through Florida, ripping off rooftops and demolishing buildings, including a snake breeding facility containing hundreds of Burmese pythons. Hurricane Andrew had opened the floodgates for a full-scale invasion, and urban legend became a reality. It's been a few months since the female python last fed, and she's back on the hunt. But this time, she's looking for a safe place to nest. She's holding more than 50 eggs, a burden she's carried long enough. After laying her eggs, she remains with her clutch. Her coiled body occasionally shivers to create friction, keeping the eggs at an optimum temperature for embryo development. Unguarded reptile eggs are easy targets for opportunistic hunters like raccoons and invasive monitor lizards. But it would take a brave nest raider indeed to infringe upon this fiercely protected brood. A clear message is sent to even the most innocent of passers-by. But not all intruders are seen as a threat. This swarm of bees offers an additional layer of home security. So the python tolerates their presence. After around two months, the hatchlings emerge to take their first breath and don't hang around for long. Without their mother's protection, the young pythons are vulnerable to predation.
but by just two years of age, the largest female of the brood is already too big to be seriously threatened by most of the Everglades' predators. Left to her own devices, she's rapidly climbing her way towards the top of the food chain. There's only one obstacle standing in her way. Alligators have dominated these swamps for eons and won't give up their turf without a fight. The reigning champ draws first blood. The python retaliates with its signature move. If the gator can't break the chokehold, its fate will be sealed. Just when all seems lost, it manages to free its head to launch a counterattack. With one of the most powerful bite forces in the animal kingdom, the gator's jaws clasp around the snake's throat with a vice-like grip. It's now a battle of wills. The first to flinch will surely die. With their lives hanging in the balance, neither challenger is willing to tap out. But eventually, the exhausted rivals retreat to their corners. Content to call this bout a draw, But in this intensely charged atmosphere, the odds of a rematch are high. <laughs> 